I will say what's really cool about this place is, is that they provide free transportation from the hotel to the cruise port. A lot of hotels do not do that. to the left. Now the bathroom is quite cute. It's cute, it's cute. So you got your full shower there. They have a full tub, jacuzzi type tub deep tub. Now this is the executive suite. And you have your toilet, you know, no big deal. Cute little vanity. There's your mirror. New vanity area. So the bathroom is really quite cute. Like I like, I like the floors. I like the floors and everything. You got your full length mirror here. Now our room for some reason is a conjoining room. We actually have two conjoining doors. We have one right here and then another one around the corner. But then also to your left here is your closet. And your closet has your iron, ironing board, suitcase thing, suitcases. We seem to never ever use those ourselves. But yeah, so here's your bedroom area. And you have a TV, you kind of have like a full kitchen. There's a table, nightstand and everything, which is really handy. I could probably put my stuff on. And then you have a microwave, a refrigerator. You have a sink, coffee makers behind here. We you know, got our stuff all in the way. So we're getting settled. We just arrived here. And so, I mean, yeah, the overall room looks really good. I mean, you got your air conditioning unit here, which has been working the entire time. There's the second conjoining door in our room. Don't really care for that. I did not know that that was going to be the room I was getting, but sometimes when you do these things, online you do not know what you're getting yourself into nice school oh i think this is considered a queen size bed but yeah so the room is okay so you got a chance to see the hotel room itself which is really cute i actually really like this hotel room the room itself is really nice um however you can tell that some things are a little unkept here or kind of sketchy um there's a lot of different like holes and stuff like I wish I can kind of show you guys this hopefully you can see it there's a lot of different holes and stuff like in the walls try to see if you can see that there's some holes in the walls um in the lobby area you can see where the ceiling was kind of like chipped and it just, it's kind of got an overall rough, roughness to it. Um, when we were coming up to our room in the hallway, 
the carpets was kind of like, you know, very worn, very, very worn carpet. Uh, outside of our room itself, I probably would not stay here because it's, for me, it feels a little like, for some place, some place I've never been, it feels a little uncomfortable here, if, if you can kind of get what I'm saying. Um, when we first pulled up, there was kind of a bunch of people hanging out, uh, hanging around outside the hotel and just, you know, just kind of like a little bit of a sketchy look. Um, so the lady at the front desk, she was really nice and really sweet. Like I said, the room is really nice. The room does kind of have like, um, some smell to it. I can't really even put my mind. It's it's kind of like a pool. Now we are right next to the pool, so it's kind of like a pool, but then it's kind of like I don't know. It's kind of weird. And then in the hallway, the carpeting and stuff. The carpeting was um, the hallway had a smell. Kind of had like a wet, damp smell. So I think I, I mean I think this place could could with a little bit of updates. Maybe the area, I, I don't I mean, I don't know nothing about Tampa. This is my first time ever being here. So the area seems a little, you know, like it could be sketchy. I don't know. We're going to have to check it out and see what it's like in the daytime. But right now, I, I'm not really feeling it. Um, it could use some updates. Well, I will say what's really cool about this place is, is that they provide free transportation from the hotel to the cruise port. A lot of hotels do not do that. A lot of hotels will provide transportation from the airport to uh, to their hotel, but these this particular hotel does both. They'll give you transportation from the airport to uh, their hotel, plus transportation from their hotel to the cruise port. Now you can't get transportation back to their hotel unless you have a reservation the following day after you get off of your cruise ship or something like that. But um, I think that's a really nice perk. I've already put ourselves on the schedule for them to take us to the cruise port tomorrow morning and that'll be free to charge. Now I will say, I was not able to get transportation from the airport to here because one, our flight was coming in really late. And then two, she, she I called in and she said, yeah, um, they only had one of their shuttles running at the time and, and that person was gonna be leaving at six. So I was like, I didn't worry about because we're coming in super late. We didn't come in until like 9.20, 9.25 was when we actually got off the plane. So not really worried about that. But, but yeah, I think the over, our room is really cute. It's an executive suite, queen size bed. You saw all the amenities and stuff that was in there. It's really nice, it's really cute, but they definitely need to do a little bit better with the upkeep around here. I, I mean, I think it could be a really nice uh, hotel and they got a really nice, um, you know, service that they provide, but I don't know. So we're gonna see in the morning, we'll see if, if I feel a little bit different about, if I feel a little bit different about how it's looking in the morning. And I will let you guys know, they have literally, like I could walk out the parking lot and go Chick-fil-A, so that's kind of cool. And then they have a Trader Joe's just like two or three blocks down the road. And I'm gonna be, I plan to, if it's not raining, there's supposed to be rain, thunderstorms tomorrow. But if it's not raining tomorrow, I plan to walk to Trader Joe's and get my wine to take onto the cruise ship with me. So, so yeah, that's the, the room review. And um, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye-bye. Good morning, good morning. We are and we're leaving out to go to, um, we're leaving out to go to Chick-fil-A and take a walk down to Trader Joe's just a couple of blocks away. And so just kind of take you along for the ride. Literally Chick-fil-A is right there. So that's super cool and convenient. Then you got a Burger King. And Trader Joe's is supposed to be just straight ahead over here. So we're just gonna walk around y'all. Yeah. We might wanna cut through here because I don't think that's even a walkway over there. 
But yeah, there's the hotel. Tahitian Inn. Hey, you ain't gonna look for it? <laughs> oh, okay. Fluent cannabis care. Fluent cannabis, cannabis care, huh? Huh. Is it this way or that way? This, this way. way. It said it was down here. Okay, they got marathons all over the place down here. Oh, yeah, because remember, we came in this way with no Trader Joe's back there. So it's be like the next corner after this block, then we should see it. was a walkway I thought this was a street this right here I thought was a street it's actually a walkway so even better I can yeah get my wine we got a place called extreme juice Einstein brothers there's an the IHOP down there so if you stay here there's the IHOP just straight ahead here I don't know if you can see it but it's straight ahead so they got a couple of places yeah. Tacos. Where's tacos at? Right there next to the walk. Oh, right after I hop. Yeah, I see it. Wild pork. I think we can hit the button to cross over here. Saying no, babe. Huh? Oh, I was saying walk now. No, I was just gonna say if it feels making us stop, we should just go ahead and hit the button. Oh. Nice security police. Trader Joe's right here. by you real quick. Section right over here. 